Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to Unboxing Treasures. My name's Jay. If you're new here, today we are having a very special video. This is Collector Swap 8. Um, there's several people in the Funko community who get together and they have kind of like a mystery box that they send out to a randomly selected other user. Everybody opens their videos over the course of a couple days and they find out who sent them their goodies when they open their box. Um, this is mine. So there will be a list of channels down below. Please go check out all their videos. People spent a good amount of time and effort putting these boxes together and show them a little appreciation. Go and watch their videos, leave them a comment, let them know what you thought of the box. Um, let you, let, let them know what you thought of their video. But this is addressed and they put your retro buddy on it. And they have a Fruit Loops sticker on there. So I'm intrigued to see who this is. So the rules for this, usually every swap there's like a different rule. The rule for this one was you build it before you find out who your person is. So you're basically kind of building your own box with things that you like. Um, but one thing was to include some kind of item that was a representation of your collecting interest as a kid. So, very interesting. I'm one of the older guys, or one of the older folks in the group. So I hope whoever gets mine enjoys my little uh, retro item. Alright, so right on the back we have a little note that says open last. Some good bubble in here. And I think also there was like a treat that you're supposed to add. I don't, I don't know for sure. Alright, what do we got? Oh, very cool. We got a Batman Mego in black and gray. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Four, eight inch, 14 point articulation. Marty Abrams, AKA the father of the action figure has relaunched these figures. So that's very cool. Nice, 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 nice. All right, what do we got? Ooh, all right. So we got some candy here. We got some raisinets. And we also have some peanut butter M&Ms. These will not go to waste. Not at all. All right, so let's get some of this bubble out here. I see a pop here. So we'll take a look at the pop. All right, looks like we got a Back to the Future fan. This is Doc 2015. Cool looking pop. All right, what's next? Oh, looks like we got some more candies here. Oh my goodness. I will not be eating these. <laughs> Maybe my roommate will like them. Sour pickle balls. Yeah, no, no thank you. Oh, okay, we got a figure here. Oh, that's interesting. It's like a Robin but it has like a uh, a cape and it looks like a, a fighting feature. It's pretty interesting. It looks like maybe something from the animated series, but I'm not sure. I am not sure how to look into that. All right, let me get some of this bubble wrap off. Okay, and it looks like another pop here. Oh, sweet. Man after my own heart, or woman after my own heart. Terror Claws Skeletor. A very cool one. Metallic Target Exclusive. I don't think I had this one anymore, so this will probably be a keeper. All right. So, oh, I think this is a soda. Ah, I got Bumble. There you go. Sorry about that. It took a minute to focus. Let's see. There we go. 
Common Bumble, one in 8,400 pieces. But he's very cool. I'll take him out here so you can see him. Nope. It's a very cute little guy. The flock or the chase of him I think is like a glittered or something, but this is a very cool figure. Alright, still some goodies left in here. Oh, looks like we might have another soda. Hurry! Alright. We'll show off the Hermie also. I <laughs> really like that um, Funko decided to do some of these Christmas characters from some shows that I personally remember growing up with. Very cool figure. Very nice, very nice. Alright, what, what else do we have in here? This thing's still going. Oh, cool. See a Pez dispenser here. This looks like it's limited to E3. I don't remember exactly what that convention was, but this is from 2019. And this is Donald Duck. Very cool. All right, one last item. Now what is this? Oh, cool. Premier Edition Bumblebee Transformers. That is very neat. Of course, when he was a, uh, the original was a, a little VW bug, but this is a Camaro. I'm stepping it up. Very, very cool. All right, now let us see who all these goodies are from. Nope, oh, dropping stuff everywhere. Let's read the note. What? Oh, a little note fell out. Right here. All right. Who sent me this box of pleasure? Greeting to you, the recipient of this collector number eight swap box from Miss Geek Meets Eats. Oh, Brandy, thank you. What you have found inside is hopefully a good mix of retro items that will strike a memory in your heart as it did mine. I apologize if you have any of the items inside already, but since this was a true mystery box, it was packed and sealed before I knew what name I received. So here's a little rundown on what was included in your box of fun. One, movie candy. These two treats were and are my favorites when I catch flicks at the theater. Not everyone likes Raisinets, but the M&Ms should be a safe choice. I like them both, thank you. Donald Duck Pez. Disney is a part of most childhoods. At some point, most of us have tasted Pez, which has been around for decades. Three, sour pickle balls. If you know me, then you know I do food challenges. These are a unique treat, if you want to call it that. But if you can't handle salty or sour, I recommend bypassing these. Turns your tongue a funny shade, so don't try it before work. Uh, four, Retro Robin figure. I wanted something actually old, so I picked this up on whatnot. No clue what he's worth, but since I am a DC girl and included the Caped Crusader as well, I thought he'd be a cool addition. Very cool. I'm not familiar with that either, but it looks very cool. Mego Batman. I picked this up on an auction. I was going to keep him, but the retro look of this seemed more suited for the box, so enjoy. Terror Claw Skeletor. I have fond memories of watching Masters of the Universe with my brothers on Saturday mornings. It is one of the lines I collect, and well, he's shiny. He definitely is shiny, and I'm with you. I love Masters of the Universe. That was my jam growing up. Doc Brown, 2015. Back to the Future is my movie favorite movie trilogy. This character is from Back to the Future Part 2, and his box says 2015, so retro on retro, right? 
Eight, Bumble and Hermes sodas. I know these are only the commons. I don't even have the chases, but these Rankin and Bass films are a staple in my family at the holidays. Absolutely. Finally, the Bumblebee Transformer. The OG, trans the OG version of this was my very first Transformer when I was a kid. This one is way more detailed and cool. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this box of goodies, and I look forward to seeing your unboxing. Brandy, a.k.a. Geek Meets Eats. Brandy, thank you very much. I enjoyed this box, and I'm eyeing that candy right now, so I'm probably going to get to that as soon as this video is over. But again, people... Oh, actually, let me show off some of uh, the stickers that she included. Very cool. Yeah, definitely go check out her channel and the other channels listed below. But guys, that's all for this video. We just got a boatload of cool stuff to go through. And I'm going to get into those M&Ms right now. Have a good one.